All right, well, we're gonna go on a thousand mile trip. We're gonna track every dollar that we spend as we go. We're in Texas and we are heading to South Dakota and we're gonna go check out the monuments. We're gonna see Crazy Horse. We're gonna go see Mount Rushmore and we're gonna hit a bunch of stops along the way and we're gonna track every cent, every gallon of gas. And uh, yeah, we'll know exactly what it takes. So come along and find out what it costs to travel a thousand miles and stopping at all the cool places. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Results is based off of a Class A RV getting about six to seven miles per gallon. Results may vary. So we got a really late start, so we only made it from Athens to Denton, which we had to fill up with gas, and we wanted to clean our RV because we couldn't see through the windshield because of all the bugs. So we were up to $187.48 already. Then we stopped the night at a Cracker Barrel, and... I like this creamer, and I don't like other creamers, so... And my house is in the parking lot. Spent $43.92 for breakfast. Now our first stop is a place Mel's always wanted to go to. Our first stop is Cadillac Ranch. Cadillac Ranch is a public art installation and sculpture in Amarillo, Texas. And if you haven't been there, you need to check it out. I mean, they've got paint buildup that is about four inches thick just from the years and years of people spray painting on it. So don't forget to bring your paint cans and let the kids go to town. So we headed back on the road towards the city of Sterling. Spent the night at a Walmart, that way it was free, and then we went to a rest stop in Overland Trail. So they have a free dump there, you can dump your tanks, take a little walk, stretch your legs. Then we headed to Custer, South Dakota. Custer Crazy Horse Campground was $45.87 a night. We immediately headed over to the Crazy Horse exhibit because Mel has always wanted to go check this place out. For $150 a person, kids are free, you can go up to the top of the Crazy Horse Monument. There's a legend on Thunder Mountain about a man called Crazy Horse. A man who rides a stallion in the heart of our sacred land. This proud not man. One more time, Roger. From Crazy Horse, we went up to Needles, which is a park which is about 10 miles away, and this is just a really cool geological site it's I mean look at this you can drive through a mountain uh, you do need a park pass and that's only ten dollars so well worth the money so we still had to drive all the way back so the total amount is this much uh, I shot this before I tallied it up so I didn't really know so this is this is it here <laughs> Anyways, we wanted to put this together to kind of show um, how much it costs to travel long distances and check out all the cool sites. And, and really, for what it was worth, it was worth every penny. And we spent a lot of nights in Cracker Barrel, Walmarts. Uh, I think we spent one night in the Cabela's. Uh, on the way back, we actually didn't just go to Custer. We went over to Montana. We went over to Yellowstone National Park. And then on the way down, we stopped at the Grand Tetons. And we're going to do some other videos that show uh, in more detail what we were doing, uh, kind of like memory type videos. So it's worth it to just get out there, you know, find a good community. Road Life Project is a great community to uh, connect with people in this, uh, in this RV lifestyle. And uh, just go out and enjoy it. It's awesome. There's a lot of cool things to see out there. 
And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, uh, dance around, do whatever it is that people do on YouTube. And uh, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, check out Full Time RV Family Life Facebook group. We'll see you later.